Hello and welcome to Dentrix Does It. In this video, I'll show you how to turn any report into an email. This information applies to Dentrix G3 and newer. And I'm going to demonstrate specifically the example of sending a perio exam to a referred to provider by email. But the information that you learn here can, of course, be more broadly applied to many different situations. Now, to turn any report into an email, we first acquire it in the Dentrix Document Center. And to do that, will virtually print the document. So I've opened up the Perio exam and I'll choose File and Print Perio exam. In the Print options, make sure that you have Print Preview selected and then click OK. Choose the chart you print and then click Print. Within the Print Preview window, go ahead and choose Print again and this brings up our Printer Selection window. Now instead of choosing an actual printer and going to Paper, we'll choose Send to Dentrix Document Center and then choose Print. Now as an aside, you can use this printing option from any Windows program that has the ability to print. That is a web browser, an email reader, an imaging program, any program really. Your imagination is the only limit and you're able to print your document and acquire it into the Dentrix database. Let's close out of these windows and open up the Patient's Document Center. Anytime you print to the Send to Dentrix Document Center option, the documents go to a holding area. So we'll find that uh, holding area by clicking Acquire and Unfiled Documents. Now there is the date and time of the print. If you click it, it does preview that. I'm going to use the drag and drop method. So I click the document, I hold down the left button, when my arrow is pointed over the patient's name in the document tree, I let up that button and the document has been acquired to this patient. Now, by the way, the drag and drop method also works if you have files on a desktop or in an Explorer browser. You can drag and drop them right into the document center. Of course, when we acquire the document this way, it asks for some information. So I'll make sure that my date is correct on the exam. Go ahead and file it under the right category and name it and optionally place a node in here as well. After I've filled in all the blanks, I'll click OK. And that document is now part of the patient's file. So it can serve as a long-term record stored in here. The Document Center, however, can do so much more than just attach documents to patients. Let me highlight the document, and then I'll choose Edit and Modify Document Attachments. And in here, I can choose a referred to provider and attach it to the Perio provider that I want to send it to. You also have the option, of course, to send it to everything you see here. Another provider or staff, an employer, another dental insurance. Now doing this means I now have the ability to go and view by my referred to provider. And I see the same document attached this way. Now since I am viewing the referred to provider, if I select the document and choose File and Send Documents, it will open up an email using the email address that's entered in the referral provider's maintenance screen in Office Manager, and it attaches the document it's ready to send. Now if your office uses a web-based email, you can go back to File and export the document and here you're able to save a copy of the document which you can then attach to your email using your web browser. And that's how Dentrix does it. For more tips and training, please visit our online resource center.